Okay, so this is officially my first YouTube video in front of the camera. Um, and this is my special guest, Pudge. <laughs> um, in case you're curious, Pudge is a six and a half month old uh, Queensland Blue Healer. He is the star of the show around here. Hey, um, Mr. Star of the Show, can you go find an activity? Go find a toy. Go find a toy. Can I do something, please? <laughs> So today's video is best done, I think, with me in front of the camera. Um, there's some items that are maybe a little too big for an above angle shot, but this is my Walmart um, January toy clearance haul. I have a nine-year-old stepdaughter who is very into a little bit of everything from Legos to crafts to science to dolls to horses to animals, you name it, she loves it. So I try to get her as many of her projected wants um, on clearance as possible just to stretch our budget. I guess before I really get into this video, I should probably, I don't know what he is eating. <laughs> I should probably explain what our budget looks like for things like Easter baskets, birthday, and Christmas. We budget $200 a year for her for Christmas, $100 for her birthday, um, about $50 for her Easter basket, and then if you add that up, that's $350. And if you think about little surprises like her Valentine's basket or her, um, we do a book advent calendar, but I buy my books at a secondhand store. So we think of it like this, budget a dollar saved a day for a year for 365 days. And that is about her budget for her year's worth of birthdays and holidays. So, Obviously that's not a huge budget, definitely more than some families, but not a huge budget. And so from the very first year I was shopping for her, I've always tried to really plan things out ahead of time. And I always kind of keep tabs on what she's interested in, what kind of little toy review videos she watches on YouTube. And um, I shop the two major retail clearance sales every year for toys. One is in January, right after Christmas, and the other is in August, right before they stock for the holidays. Um, last year, I was not the best at clearance shopping, obviously with the pandemic and people not wanting to go out in person to shop and some you know, other things going on. I just didn't get after it as much. And even though I did a, you know, a good job for her birthday and Christmas, it definitely reinforced to me how much I do rely on shopping clearance and why I spend so much time doing it. So without further ado, this is all from the Walmart clearance event, um, which just started. It started on the 25th and today is the 27th of January. So it'll continue until the first week of February. Um, the only things in this video, not from Walmart, are this red bucket, this hedgehog, this cotton candy, and this little uh, Valentine's Day chocolates, which all, uh, the candy and chocolates came and um, the hedgehog came from Smith's, the bucket came from Dollar Tree. So I figured I would start this video before I get into all of it with what we plan to do for her Valentine's gift. Um, I know every family handles Valentine's different. I always got, you know, a special flower or a special like stuffed animal and we've gotten her a stuffed animal and a card and a little surprise. So this year, one, I got her a bucket because for some odd reason she loves holiday themed buckets. So had to get her a bucket. Um, she is obsessed with hedgehogs. So I found this super cute little hedgehog with a little kiss on it. And this oddly enough came from Smith's Kroger grocery stores. Um, and with your Smith's card, this was $3. He's super cute. Um, I got her a, uh, can the candy heart uh, cotton candy. She loves cotton candy. And then we got her a just normal little, um, you guys know, there's the mixed chocolates. She tried to eat all of the mixed chocolates at my parents' house at Christmas this year. So I was like, okay, we can definitely get her her own. But her surprise, which is why I have this in this video, um, she has been curious about Polly Pockets. She wasn't so sure about them at Christmas. She wanted to ask for them, but she had a few other once before, you know, just things she didn't know about. I had Polly Pockets as a kid. We're on the road. We travel a lot. So I figured we would get our starter set. This was on clearance at Walmart for a dollar. I will put in the UPC code. And it's just the little winter one. It has a snowmobile and the girl. And it looks like it has a little white bunny. 
and it folds up into a little snowflake case and can clip onto her backpack. So I thought this would be really fun for winter road trips or if we're, you know, doing something in the car and she needs a little something to play with. So that is our Valentine's basket without cards for her this year. Um, next up, the next major holiday is Easter. Now for her Easter baskets, I normally get her things that she'll need for the summertime and outdoor play and things like that. However, she has a fall birthday, like a late fall birthday and then Christmas. So Easter is her last big gift event um, until her birthday. So I generally try to get her things um, that she'll wear for the summertime, some new books to read for the summertime which we do get her books throughout the year, so it's kind of different, but um, some fun crafts for spring break and summer break, and then some new toys to get her, you know, through until that next holiday. So that is where this pile over here comes in. Now, everybody knows the LOLs. These have been the most popular kids toy now for probably three years. She's asked for them before for Christmas and birthdays. However, these normally retail for like 10 and $12 for this little ball for a little tiny like rubber toy with some accessories. I cannot really justify paying $10 per little ball. And I've always looked for them on clearance. I've never found them on clearance and we've just not gotten her any. It continues to be something she's very interested in. She's very into her dollhouse and her dolls and um, when I saw these wrong clearance for $2.50 at three different Walmarts, I finally said, okay, I'm just gonna get two. So I got her the All-Star BB's Cheer Squad, and I got her two of the Red Series, which from the video she watches online, I think the Red Series translate into like the Varsity Pups, but they're girls, except for one has a, I don't know. Anyway, very popular, $2.50. Um, each $5 definitely higher than I would normally even consider, but it'll be for Easter. It'll be super cute in her basket. Now my Walmarts also had the pets and the boy ones, and there was a really cute video game themed boy one. And she always wants boy dolls. And if I can see that one again, I should have grabbed it when I saw it, but I didn't. And it's normally retailed for 15 and it was $7, but it has like a huge, like little carrying case for it. So I should have grabbed it. I didn't, my bad. Um, so anyway, if you see it, snag it. Apparently it's rare. The next thing I got for her Easter basket, which for her Easter basket, we always get her, um, some new, you know, water toys, pool toys, whatever, and a swimsuit and a cover up and like a rash guard type thing. And I normally order from the children's place, which if you've not ordered from them before, it can take a few weeks for our items to arrive, but they have phenomenal sales. I only order one at 70 to 90% off and I already think I know which swimsuit I'm gonna go ahead and order her for this year, but she loves slime. Ooh, that was loud, sorry. She loves slime, just like every other kid in this country. And normally, because it's ruined a carpet and a bedspread and some clothing, we are not big promoters of the slime. I saw this though, it's called I Dig Monsters, and it's shaped like a popsicle, so it kind of goes with the summery theme. Um, and you can, it's like a squishy, slimy, uh, thing. It has cookie cutters. And so you can like reshape the slime and cut it. So it's like, it stays as solid though. It's different. Um, but inside is this cute little Yeti toy and it comes with some little tools that are the popsicle sticks. And these normally really retail for $10. So when I saw this for a buck, I snatched it up and I know that she will have a lot of fun with this. And I think I got her the one that's like a purple and blue monster inside or Yeti. So hopefully that is a hit. If not though, it's a dollar and really not the end of the world. Next up for Valentine's day, we got her her first little Polly pocket. So I figure for Easter, we would get her a bigger set. This one is from the tiny is mighty series Polly pocket micro, and it's called the jungle safari compact. It comes with two girls, two monkeys and has little features that fold down. And there's actually four in this series. I still am looking out for two of the other ones, but you'll see another one later in this video. And um, I was shocked. These were in the clearance section, so I scanned it. Again, Walmart app is your best, best friend. Oh, this one wasn't marked clearance either. So when I scan this one, these are normally $5 a piece. This rang up for $1. 
These can run anywhere from $12 to $19 a piece. So when I scanned it and it came up for $2, I put it in the cart. So I hope that that's fun. And again, it folds up into all one piece and it can go on the road with us and travel. And she definitely likes having toys that she can travel with that aren't like a big mess. So I figured that this and her little LOLs, who also these balls become a carrying case too. So these are really good road trip toys as well for the parents who are looking out for those items. Next up, our girl does love her some Barbies, which is funny. She acts in the store. She always goes to the Lego section first. I would too. I love Legos. Um, and then she kind of cruises through the Barbies. Now she is very much a tomboy. She loves playing outside and getting dirty and doing all the rough and tumble things. Um, total horse girl. And she asked for Barbies two Christmases ago and I got her all the Disney Barbies and she brings them everywhere. <laughs> if you open her backpack, it is stuffed with Barbies and it is the cutest thing. And she, you know, takes them in the bathtub and the pool and on trips. And she, you know, asked this year for Christmas for a lot of little accessories and fun things to go with them. And my family got her a lot of those things, but because she placed them so much in the bathtub and the pool, I saw the next two Barbie items and I knew I had to get them for her. Now these were also a clearance item. No, nothing here is full price. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I got her this one, which is just this fun little pool donut and it has a puppy and a towel and she loves donuts. We love flamingos. This totally is our vibe and I'm so excited for her to get this, but I got this Oh, and this is normal retail, I think $8, like $8.88 a set. And this was $3.80, so I snagged this. But I saw a cute little Barbie with um, this like kick swimming feature and she has a medal. Um, we didn't get to watch the Olympics this year. Hopefully they actually end up doing them in 2021. I know they delayed it by a year, but who knows with coronavirus. Um, Am I even allowed to say coronavirus on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know how censorship here works. But anyway, it has this fun little diving board and you can press the button and make her swim. And it has, again, a puppy. We always need a puppy. So this was a perfect set. Now, I was shocked. These are not marked clearance. Um, they were in the back of the store, not in the clearance section. And I had seen, I think it's like Richie Hustles on YouTube, which by the way, his videos, he, his voice may be annoying. He's from like New Jersey or something. He knows how to find a clearance and I love anybody who knows how to find a clearance. He was scanning dolls like these and at his store they were coming up, um, they were down from the 14 or the $12 a doll. Um, they were down to like $6. So I was expecting a 635 margin or whatever. These ring up for 480 a piece. So I got a bunch of them. So these are the two she will get in her Easter basket. And again, I mean, let's just do some quick math. So we'll round this up to four, four, so it's eight plus five, that's 13 plus one plus two. So $16 so far, and she has one, two, three, four, five, six toys. So definitely a really good value. Now, the last thing for her Easter basket other than her, um, summer clothes like shorts and tank tops and flip-flops and all that good stuff she has been very into watching resin craft videos which i don't blame her i'm into them too and when i saw this plasti taffy by just my style melt and mold creations it comes with all the little molds it comes with a pair of sunglasses um and you can make all these little resin crafts and this normally retailed for $15. I got it for five. And this was, I think, a big Christmas promotion and they just had a ton of them. So I snagged this because I thought she would have so much fun. And I mean, it's just fun summer colors. They have the little whales and the unicorns and the rainbows and the ice creams and the iced coffees. The girl loves an iced coffee. Um, so I thought she'd have so much fun making those, but I realized they had the white shoes on the cover and just like every other kid in this country, she watches TikTok videos. And I don't know if you guys know anything about TikTok, but they like to wear the very crisp white shoes. And she asked me um, if next year for school, if she could get the really crisp white sneakers to go with the cowboy boots she wears every day. And I said, sure, that's fine. 
I was not expecting to find those type of shoes at Walmart in the clearance for $3. So these are normally a $10 pair of shoes and I would have gotten these for her even if they weren't on clearance and told her she could color on them or put her little charm deals or whatever she wanted to on these. They have the Velcro, so they're easy on, easy off. We don't have to deal with the 10 minute process of tying our shoes. But for $3, I, I just figured out why not, you know? And I actually got her another pair of sneakers for $3, but she found those already. But they're purple with um, glitter like on the outside that is kind of in like some sort of a liquid solution. So if you move your shoe around, the glitter moves. Maybe I'll go grab them by the end of the video. But um, so I grabbed her these. So I'll put these with this in her Easter basket to go with all of her other little clothes and swimsuit and her goggles and her sun hat and whatever else we get her for summer in her Easter basket. So that concludes the portion I got her for her Easter basket. So 16, 21, 20, $24 and I budget 50 for her Easter basket. So I have plenty of room to get her, you know, her $6 swimsuit and her, you know, $2 set of goggles and whatever else she ends up needing. So I love getting, you know, really big wow items. Uh, <laughs> you have to sit right there. <laughs> um on a huge discount and i hope that she's gonna be really excited that don't you dare start eating stuff pige no okay i don't trust you i can't <laughs> if you have a healer you know they're into everything okay so now on to the rest of it so i went shopping at this clearance for her Valentine's and Easter. And if I were to see anything that really struck me for a birthday or Christmas, I would pick it up. I saw lots of things. So I guess we will start with, oh, I have these two little Barbie accessory kits. Again, these were $3.80 each. The girl loves pizza. I got the pizza oven. Um, she's wanted more stuff for her Barbie house kitchen. So birthday or Christmas, she's getting this at some point. Um, next up uh, is this cute little dog house. So from Santa, she got the chicken house Barbie for the Barbie farm or like fun orchard series, whatever. And um, then she got a bunny too and a puppy. And I was like, we should make a dog, like a little dog house. This was $3.80, absolutely all day I will pick it up. So I got her this one, it has a dog and a puppy in the water and the food and this cute little house and I know she's gonna love this. So that was a no brainer. Next up, our girl loves, loves, loves babies. She also loves people with different colored hair. So when I saw this Barbie Skipper babysitter set, I knew she would love this. And to my shock, this rang up as $1.50. Like there's no tag on it. It does not show that it's on clearance, but it rang up $1.50. So of course I snagged this. Now there are more in the Skipper series. I did not see them, so I didn't grab them, but I will be keeping my eyes out the next few trips to Walmart. We're in a blizzard here right now though, so I'm probably not leaving my house for a few days. But um, I thought this series was so fun. It has a little Barbie baby or toddler, which she's really wanted one. And then it has um, this fun girl with purple shoes and purple hair. And I know she'll be all about that as well. So for $1.50, total steal. Now, another one of these um, Barbie Dreamhouse Adventure Dolls, just like her uh, swimming one that was swim and dive, this one is the spin and twirl gymnast, which has a feature where if you press the button on its body, she like moves. Um, it also comes with the little Olympic medal, and it has a little pet that also has some fun uh, little moving abilities a little trampoline and uh, she used to you know do jujitsu before the pandemic and she loved all sorts of activities where she could try to flip herself over and do a cartwheel and I figured she would really love this one again this was four dollars and eighty cents so had to snag that up um the next one yes I purposely went over the tractor because that's my favorite is this Play and Wash Pets. Again, $4.80. It comes with three pets. When you get them wet, their spots disappear. It comes with a little wash tub and this fun little grass bit. And it has 
a cute girl with a bunch of dog bowls and a little brush for them. This will fit in great with her chicken house and her dog house and all of her other Barbie animals. I am on the lookout for the big Barbie farm set and the Barbie horses because I think that would really complete her collection. Um, but anyway, when I saw this for $4.80, threw it in the cart. Next up, she used to play soccer. She talks all the time about how much she misses soccer. Um, she's getting into softball though, and I'm really excited about that because that was my sport. But um, I saw this little soccer coach Barbie with a little girl, again, another kid Barbie, so she'll be really excited about that, with a little goal and the bench and the trophy. Um, and I knew she would love this, so it was a no-brainer, an immediate snag. And there's actually more in this series. There's a softball one, a basketball one, a volleyball one, and I'm gonna try to find them all if I can. And for the people going, you've already got her so much, she's spoiled, whatever, I don't really care. Um, <laughs> I have a hard time saying no, especially to things that she's really interested in and that she goes back to playing with over and over and over. And I already know that this doll and this little, um, little girl doll would definitely be in the backpack on road trips with us. The tractor. So, oh, we have one more. Okay. So this one I thought would be so fun too. She loves doing their hair and changing their hair. And this one has rainbow and purple and pink, but it has headbands with hair that changes colors. She really wants to dye her hair blue. She doesn't need to dye her hair blue right now, but I'm sure when she's a teenager, there will be a point in time where she comes home with pur like purple or blue hair. But um, I saw this one, $4.80. Again, lots of accessories, lots of fun little outfits. I knew we had to get that for her as well. Um, this tractor. Okay, so let me just tell y'all. When the Barbie uh, collection released this, what is it called? Sweet Orchard Farm. That's what this series is called. I wanted to get her these so, so, so bad. I was so excited and at Black Friday, I ventured to the Walmart and they were completely sold out. I was a little, a little salty about it. Um, but this was on clearance at a Walmart I never go to in a big city. I was actually there doing a Walmart uh, floral clearance. So if you watch any of my other videos, I found this while there. And it is marked 10.55 down from $20, so half off. It rang up for $3. It rang up cheaper than these. I was shocked. Like, and hidden clearance at Walmart is a big thing. If they need to move items, they'll just mark them down in the system further. I hadn't even scanned it. I just saw the 10.55 and was like, oh, absolutely, I'll just take it with me. I love it because it has a dog. I really want to get a great Pyrenees at some point. So, you know, kind of wishful thinking. Her favorite color is blue. The blue tractor totally fits. It has a little basket and a little um, fruits and veggies. And then it has another chicken to match with her chicken house. So anyway, huge steal. I'm probably, oh gosh, I should wait to give her this for her birthday. I honestly want to figure out if there's a way I can put it in her Easter basket. <laughs> because I'm just so excited about her having it and I just think it'd be so fun for her to play with all summer. So I might figure out a way to shove this in the Easter basket. I'm running out of room, but we'll figure it out. And then lastly is another, oh, I, not lastly, I have three more things, but the last of the toys is this super fun Polly Pocket winter set. It's again, the micro series and it's the Freeze and Fun Narwhal Compact. It has two little dolls. It has a husky and a sled team. Her favorite dogs are huskies. It has a polar bear, a narwhal, and some penguins, a zip line, and then the little slide and side drops open so the girl can slide around. And when you fold it up, it looks like a super cute narwhal. Um, I'm hoping that she's loving the Polly Pockets and that this is a really a big hit. And like I said, there are two more in this same size series right now. There's one that looks like a llama and then there's one that is space themed and she's obsessed with space. So I really want to find her the space one. So we'll see what I can find on my next trips out. But if not, maybe I will see it in the August clearance. Now in the toy category, uh, they usually don't clearance Legos or the science toys um, like robots in the January clearance just because they're either sold out from Christmas or whatever. My stores are like devoid of Legos. There are no Legos to be found. So I was not expecting to see Legos in the clearance section. I didn't, that's fine, I moved on. 
August, I would say is the best month of the year to buy Legos on clearance. And that is when I will be hitting up Walmart and Target as well as the Lego website. Um, I think it's called Brick Exchange. Don't quote me on that, but it's a website where you can actually purchase Lego sets, um, sometimes secondhand, which I have done before and they don't really know the difference. And secondhand can even be ones that were bought as collector's items that didn't hold value and the people have decided to offload. So that is my big Legos hack. I wish I had some fun Legos to show today. I do not, um, but all in all, oof, I don't even know. I'll just round everything up to four. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, I'll count this as four as well. 28, 32, 36, 40. So $40 for 10 Barbie accessories or Barbies. Um, that's a steal. If you know anything about buying girls toys, especially they upcharge out the wazoo and getting that quantity. I mean, this is going to last her birthday and Christmas of next year or of this year because 2021. Um, so definitely a really great value. And the other thing, if she decides she's no longer interested in Barbies, um, I will keep everything in packaging and I will sell them on Facebook marketplace or eBay as a lot sale. And I would price the whole thing, you know, just to get your money back at like 50 bucks and it would sell same day. Um, I've had no issue reselling in package kids toys that are things I've purchased on clearance that she's no longer interested in. Um, but also these are great donation items birthday party gifts, you know, when you're invited to something at the last minute and you, you know, need to scramble for a gift, you can just pull some out of your stash. So those are my best advice, pieces of advice there. The last two craft things, which I would probably do both of these for her birthday. Um, the first one is this unicorn friendship bracelet pack. It was originally $10. I got it for $5.50. Definitely not the lowest. I've gotten something like this on clearance, but she's really into beading. It has all the outfit beads and the number beads and rainbow beads and all the different types of cord, um, the melting beads. It has, oh, a different color of outfit beads and it has some little charms, a unicorn, a mermaid, a rainbow, a rainbow heart, a raindrop. There's more, but I can't see them. So yeah, great value. Oh, it comes in a super cute little mer uh, unicorn carrying case. So she will she will dig this no matter when she would get this easter christmas birthday whatever she'd be about it so always good to stock up on these and then because she's been so into the resin crafts i grabbed her another little resin kit this one you can make multiple different size molds there's a uh, rainbow glitter fun um two pairs of tweezers instruction manual large gel compound bottles hair clips deco sheets rings key rings, bowls, uh, molding paddles. I don't know what that is. Um, bracelet strings, necklace strings, flower crown string. Ooh, okay. That's cute. So anyway, this will be a huge hit. I'm sure she will have a blast with this. And this was on clearance for $4. I did see this at other Walmart. It's for nine and 12. I would never pay nine or 12 for these, but $4 seemed like a fair price. So that is so far all of the January Walmart toy clearance that I have found. Um, I've not crossed a hundred dollars <laughs> and I don't plan to. Um, that's kind of like my high line for toy clearance. But you know, the fact that I have Valentine's and Easter done so far under budget, I have, you know, a really good handle on her birthday started and a really good handle on Christmas started definitely gives a lot of, you know, room to play budget wise, if there's a new video game that comes out next year, that's expensive. Or if she wants a new piece of tack for her horse, that's expensive. And you know, or if she wants, you know, new stuff for her snowboard or a new bike or something like that, that could be more expensive. Um, we definitely, we definitely try to structure Christmas a little bit this year. We did the want, wear, need, read list but I didn't just do four items. I told her write down like three items in each category or five items in each category, whatever the number was that I wrote on the sheet. And I actually got her everything that she asked for from her wants, her wears, her needs and reads. And I plan to do that again this year, but I have a pretty solid handle on things that she is interested in. And she does kind of give a vague list where <laughs> she'll be like, I want Barbie furniture. And I'm like, 
Okay, so thankfully she's not super, super specific, but if she was, I still have a lot of room to play in my budget. Um, and then my other trick, something I'm actually gonna do this year for the first time, and I saw a bunch of people do it on YouTube last year. I am saving all of my spare change in a big jar, and right before her birthday, I'm gonna take that big jar to a coin star, dump it out, um, and whatever cash I get out of that, I will go ahead and add split 50-50 birthday and Christmas budget. So by spreading out my purchases throughout the year, I can provide kind of a larger, more over the top feel of a birthday or Christmas while staying generally under budget and getting her all the things that she's really excited about. Now, for anyone who's concerned about her being spoiled, maybe a little bit, but we do donate all of her um, outgrown clothes and all of her outgrown toys either to friends so they go to second hand down the line or we do donate to multiple church-based charities um which i don't know why i mean church-based is just what we have in the area but i guess we could donate to any charities haven't really considered it that far but you know we we do embrace the spirit of giving on the flip side um if you are somebody who's interested though in doing a big toy drive or gifting drive the next year i recommend going to the sales now because you can get things for clothing drives and toy drives. You can get school supplies at a really discounted rate. Um, and you can really kind of get the most bang for your buck, regardless of who you're buying for or why. So I hope this gave you some inspiration, some good ideas. And if it's not too much to ask, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, liking my video, leaving me a comment. Apparently it does really help the algorithm. I am new to YouTube, um, so I'm still figuring this all out. So definitely stay tuned and bear with me as I learn the ins and outs of it. Thank you so much for coming by and I hope everyone stays warm, safe, and dry in this crazy weather. Have a great evening.